where to start with this movie? Ooh, it was. We just, we just we just finished. We just finished it, and I got very emotional. Yeah, as I do. I got my brain fried, <laughs> as I do. Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film, and today we're gonna to be making sense of life through everything, everywhere, all at once. I feel like it is. Okay, let me try. Okay. This is actually a family drama centered around intergenerational trauma packaged in a sci-fi <laughs> yes yeah, sci-fi kung fu movie <laughs> yeah where a lady who owns a laundromat evelyn she's a chinese immigrant a mom who is tasked with saving the multiverse she doesn't know it but she's a very powerful lady but she happens to be in a certain part of the universe where she's a failure so the husband tells her who's at this point coming from a different part of the universe tells her you are the one who's going to save the multiverse you need to discover your potential potential includes lots of things because of it she's a singer in different all these different timelines different, these different, possible yeah. lives she could have led she's yeah. a professional she chef singer yeah. famous martial artist all yeah these so then as she's saving the universe she's tapping into all of these different versions of of mm -hmm. herself. Yeah. So the reason I say it's a family drama is because all of these things play out with her family. That's and the core of yeah, the movie. You have her dad, yeah. Gong Gong, and you have Evelyn's husband, Waymond. Waymond. Yeah. And then you have Joy. the daughter, Joy. So Evelyn, she's very neurotic. She's plagued by self-doubt, which mm -hmm. stems from her own relationship with her dad, who wasn't pleased with her decisions when mm -hmm. she decided to marry Waymond and was like, you're gonna, you're not gonna be my daughter yeah. if you make this decision. Yeah. And I think she probably got that feeling her entire life. They show yeah. a short clip of even when she's born, basically the disapproval or this disappointment probably, on, yeah. on the father's face. So a couple times he said, you're not my daughter or disappointed yeah. in Disappoint, you. So yeah. Yeah. Her husband, in fact, has decided that she, he wants to leave her mm -hmm. and he's trying to get her to sign the divorce papers. She doesn't want to because of course, what's her dad gonna think? Her dad is coming, flying in from China and she's so stressed out. My dad is not gonna think that I'm a sex success otherwise. She's still trying trying to get his approval and to have everything look really nice, even if it's not even the reality. So she's uh, trying to get that worked on with her husband. And then when it comes to Joy, her daughter, she doesn't want to introduce Joy's girlfriend to her dad because she knows he wouldn't approve. So that's yeah. another thing that she covers up quickly. She's always trying to save people from having to know what's actually going on in the family's life, constantly trying to orchestrate. A certain version a certain of version their family. For everyone. Yeah. yeah. So like the husband is like, well, you know, what does it matter what your dad thinks? Isn't it enough that what we think of what we've accomplished here her neuroses then of course affects the relationship with the daughter because her daughter is like asking her pleading with her you know tell him i am gay and tell her about my girlfriend about who i am she doesn't hear the daughter doesn't yeah. really sit down and listen to the daughter she's so obsessed with yeah. the optics doesn't realize that she's pushing everybody away now this person topu the villain's pseudonym who's actually joy yeah so this is where the intergenerational trauma stuff comes in because yeah. the multiverse is under threat yeah. All the different multiverses that are connected, interconnected, yeah. are starting to get destroyed, basically. By yeah. Joy, By Joy, right? Yeah. And her giant bagel. Yeah. Topu is basically a manifestation of all of the issues, yeah. right? Collective issues over the years mm -hmm. between Evelyn and Joy. Obviously, like, if someone, if your mother or anybody that you love doesn't accept you, even if they say they accept you, your yeah. actions, the yeah. actions don't really yeah. match with what they're saying to yeah. you. And no matter how much logic, it's not enough to say, well, I have to treat you badly yeah. now because of my grandfather yeah. because at the end of the day whatever logic you have for yeah. presenting yourself in a certain way to your grandfather yeah. is never justified because it comes from a position of you feeling yeah. like you, you know, can say that you are accepting of this person all you want when you betray that what you say by then doing the opposite then it completely undermines anything that you're saying there's a lot of anger and frustration and resentment that joy carries yeah. and that's what, what, that's her that's yeah. topu yeah. Whatever the to name. Tobu, to we'll just say Joy's to to evil alter ego. Alter ego is, yeah. is that. Yeah. Because at the end, when they kind of get back to the main, the main timeline, Joy is just saying, but like, I actually want you to, I'm glad that you're working on yourself, but I want you to let me go and leave me alone because it just hurts so much just like being near you or like, you know, that kind of thing. It gets yeah. to the point where that level of, I don't know, resentment or ignoring or feeling abandoned. It's just like everything is a reminder of the disappointment and the, the pain that the family causes each other. Mom, just stop. So good for you. You're figuring your shit out. 
That's great. I'm really, really happy for you. But I... I'm tired. For me, the movie is kind of like, I guess it speaks to the human condition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody in this movie has different versions of themselves, mm -hmm. right? How many facets of people we are and how every single action we take, it all kind of accumulates into who we are. Certain Basically, no, yeah. who we are depend is based off of every single tiny, yeah. big decision, yeah. good, bad, right yeah. or wrong, yeah. you know? Every single decision that we've ever made. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So ultimately, who you are is who you choose to be at the mm -hmm. end of the day. You can yeah. either turn left, you can either turn right, you can either say yes or you can either say no. Yeah. As people, there are different versions of ourselves that a lot of us uh, a, a lot of us don't see. We've talked a lot about how sometimes people, for example, see you and I a certain way mm -hmm. and are so com confused by how we're even together. Yeah, it makes privately. so much sense to us. It makes so much sense to us because privately, you know, everything about me, I know everything about you and it makes so much, it's, it makes so much sense. Yeah. And also we've talked about how out there, there are just certain parts of myself that I'm not going to present to people, right. but I'm so much more comfortable to present yeah. to you. Yeah. And those are the different versions, right? Yeah. I'm getting super emotional in this movie. There was a part Part in the movie where she says where she finally decides to put her daughter first mm -hmm. she says to her dad um she may be a mess but she's a mess like me mm -hmm. she may have issues she has issue, issues like me but just like me she was lucky enough to find someone that was soft and kind balanced out mm -hmm. all her lags mm -hmm. right and i felt like literally felt like that <laughs> yeah with us you know because i've always said that you you make me lighter the movie is great because it presents different personalities and mm -hmm. and a lot of people can relate to at least one person in yeah. there and for me that was Evelyn mm -hmm. you know because I, I know that I, I've always said that I have these neurotic tendencies because I'm always worried about everything and I remember at, like just finishing this movie I felt like my god am I living my life when it ended I felt like am I really doing everything that I want to do Evelyn reveling in her yeah. other versions of herself which yeah. is a big star in the beginning that's what it's like yeah. but the transition as she starts to see these different versions of herself she starts she realizes that this version of herself where she's a failure there's so much beauty in yeah. that that too yeah. that version of herself where she's a big star yeah. she actually ends up I remember they have a conversation in the end towards the end where she's like well you know in another universe mm -hmm. we're laundromat owners yeah. and we don't really have a lot and the guy is like in another I would life love I would love that yeah just uh, doing laundry and paying taxes with you with you yeah, yeah. <laughs> The movie does a good balance of kind of taking things that humans have always struggled with and also a lot of modern issues that we're struggling with. Like I think her seeing all these different uh, lives of hers is kind of like a social media anxiety that people get where they look at all these other people's lives that seem so much better than theirs. If you actually lived longer than just that picture in that person's life, you'd yeah. see they have problems too. It's not necessarily better than your situation or maybe it is for a bit and then it gets harder and it gets, you know. Also with Joy, I think she she's, her situation is kind of like a lot of, represents a lot of things that people I think are feeling now when it comes to like the internet almost kind of simulates what she ended up going through where she was pushed too hard as a lot of kids are. Joy just ends up getting too, like her mind is fractured. Basically she's like, she loses all kind of joy in life because she just experiences everything all the time at once. So nothing is new. Nothing is interesting. Nothing, nothing, matters. nothing matters. And she has this kind of nihilism about life, which I think the internet and social media can bring on where people feel like everything is doomed. There's no hope. And you kind of know all the, all these things that are going on and, and you're just kind of like, so what now? It's, it's kind of also just the modern life where there's so much comfort too, that you kind of feel just like stagnant, kind of stuck. There's, there's no risk or excitement or danger even, or it's so easy to avoid those things now that you just kind of like, well, what's the point? But it, it, it is kind of how you decide that's where choice comes in, or at least the illusion of choice, because um, Joy could say, everything's pointless. What's the point in carrying on? She's like, I just want peace. I want to blast off into oblivion into this giant donut black hole. But you could look at it as, well, there's there's no meaning or uh, nothing really matters or people are, you know, whatever you do is just going to get lost in a sea of other things going on or, or gets washed away eventually. But then that could be very, that could be great because then you can take as many chances and mistakes and, and attempt all kinds of things that you want. Might as well. There's nothing to lose, so. 
the whole notion of nothing matters that Joy comes to, I feel like was because of her mom, right? Like her relationship with her mom. Nothing she did would ever change the relationship that she had with her mom. And that's where she's like, at one point she's like, I just feel like maybe we should just part ways because mm -hmm. whenever we're together, we hurt each other. It's just that constant asking for love from your, par from your parent and not getting it in the way that you really should. Yeah. You get to that point where like, there's literally nothing I can do because she's trying to explain all the yeah. time. This is what I need from you. Yeah. I want you to be, to accept me as I am. I don't want to hide yeah. from my grandfather. I, yeah. I don't want to lie. Yeah. I just want to be myself, right? Because at the end, she said, I wasn't trying to kill you. I was just trying to find someone else that can understand what I've been through and what I feel. And yeah. so she gets her mom to basically go through this kind of connecting with everything all at once thing so that she has, she's like, I just wanted you to be able to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. And so we could actually experience something together and you'd understand me. All this time. I wasn't looking for you so I could kill you. I was just looking for someone who could see what I see. Feel what I feel. Evelyn starts unpacking all of these things, unpacking all the things about all these different things about herself, about her relationship with her with her husband, who she had this vision of who he was. Mm -hmm. And little things happen. For example, when he convinces the lady, the tax lady, like, okay, the IRS lady, yeah, yeah like not to close yeah. down their business. Yeah. And, he, and she's like, what? How did my yeah. husband manage to do that? Yeah. You know, yeah. she has no confidence yeah. in this guy whatsoever yeah. and is just completely shocked that yeah. he managed yeah. to convince this lady yeah. to allow them you know to give him a chance yeah. everyone has these skills whether they they kind of get them from however or they develop them through going to chef training or something or you know you're practicing your singing but you know she's able to tap in all these different sides of her that focused on practicing a lot of martial arts so she was able to do certain skills or the one timeline where she gets really good with her feet because they have to because they they have uh, hot dogs so, for fingers, for fingers yeah. um but then he one of his skills that she's unaware of is just being able to calmly and like connect and explain their situation to people so that the other people have sympathy for them yeah. and will understand where they're coming and from bring, and bring lightness to life mm -hmm. which is something that she didn't appreciate yeah. initially she sees it as he's immature mm -hmm. and not responsible enough and we need to get our business together mm -hmm. and life is hard mm -hmm. and we need to you know toe the damn line yeah. in the end she starts seeing appreciating that lightness mm -hmm. right starts seeing that you know what like first of all this guy is actually really smart, mm -hmm. but you know what he says, right? He has that conversation with her and she says, you know, I understand that you see you're a fighter and mm -hmm. I really appreciate that, but you fight in a way, you know, like you fight differently from yeah. me. For me, I am I look, I, I know that life is hard. I've been on earth the same number of years as you have. So mm -hmm. I know life is hard, but the way that I fight, the hardship is through positivity, yeah. kindness, and love. There are lots of things that people experience in life, Evelyn's backstory with her dad, etc., that turn you into this person who's mm -hmm. constantly like, wielding yeah. a sword against yeah. absolutely every single yeah. thing, right? And you cannot ever calm down. Everything is just like, I am going into the lion's mm -hmm. den. You wake up, you know what yeah. I mean? You're yeah. at war. And at the end, but she said, I'm going to try and fight like, like you. you. And, yeah, exactly. Which is going up against her opponents and finding things that are things that they actually just need, that are their insecurities or their fetishes or things that would just make them happy and yeah. to find ways to resolve With the love. conflict. Yeah, yeah. love and uh, figuring, understanding where they're coming from or knowing what they need you know exactly yeah. kind of like in the end how Evelyn gives Joy what she's been longing for mm -hmm. and was so angry about yeah. that lack of showing of affection from her mom yeah. the pride that she wanted her mom to have for her if people don't have those things yeah. that is what leads to the chaos yeah. that we see in the movie yeah. all the failures in Evelyn's life yeah. in the universe that we predominantly see give her all of that potential yeah. right with every failure there's potential for something yeah. great she, she beats Joy or wins her over by becoming like going through what she went through no one else was willing to. They said, no, it's too dangerous to do what Joy did. So we have to just find another way. We have to fight her with violence. Whereas eventually she says, okay, I'm actually just going to go through what you went through to figure out, you know, understand. to understand. Yeah. And she was a failure because she believed she was a failure and because she'd get that from her father and everything. And when she said, no, I'm actually proud of myself, she's able to let go of people. And then that being able to do that allows her to try and give the marriage another chance and allows Joy to not feel the need to push away and all this. So And also heals her relationship 
relationship with her dad. He tells him, you know, it's okay if you don't accept me. Yeah. I accept myself. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. And then he, it breaks him down yeah. too. Yeah, because some people, they get into this sticky mindset where they feel like they're not capable of doing things that other people are. And this movie reinforces the fact that certain things happened in your life that then led you to training one-on-one -on -one with a martial artist expert, then you could get very good at martial arts. But it's just, if it seems like you, someone else is doing something that you're just incapable of doing, it's something along the line led them to be able to have the chance to pursue that. And you didn't, but that also doesn't stop you from doing it now. Little things in life that also could be a, a negative thing, then it can lead to positive of things it's kind of back to that parable or whatever where one day it'll be something positive but you don't know if that'll then lead to something negative but that'll lead to something positive so you kind of yeah. every timeline will have those dips so yeah. again there's no really need to kind of wish you had someone else's life necessarily or wish you hadn't done this or yeah because wish you each done that because instead. each failure will bring some other positive thing into your yeah life. evelyn won't let other people grow on their own with her dad she ends up at first she's a little like girlfriend with uh Becky, I think her name is, or yeah, with uh, Joy's girlfriend. But then they end up hanging out and they're playing around with each other, right? So, but before, she would have never allowed them to meet and get a chance to get to know each other in that way. Yeah, and she had so. this idea. Uh, that yeah. oh if I if he finds out yeah. this is what's gonna happen yeah that's that thing again where we're talking about people being s different like mm -hmm. there's so many so many different packages yeah. that make up a human being yeah. and so Evelyn has this idea of her dad as someone who if I actually present mm -hmm. a different way of living yeah. and also a different way of relating you're never gonna understand he's never gonna understand he's mm -hmm. so closed off yeah. right when she finally does he's like oh okay girlfriend okay got it when she finally says I'm proud of myself it's mm -hmm. like you should be proud of yourself you're a great amazing daughter you're a great you're a great mother you're you're an ama incredible businesswoman you know you you're trying your best to give your family everything and to to make something of yourself that you can be proud of maybe i'm stretching it a little bit here but i think at one point in the movie when he's first trying to explain little by little kind of the multiverse situation to evelyn the the, the other wayman husband he's talking about you know you feel it too right like do you not feel like something's off coffee doesn't taste quite right mm -hmm. this that and it's just off like, you know, we just don't seem to trust our institutions anymore. They're, they're crumbling. Things are falling apart. We, we don't trust our neighbors. You know, that's kind of a reflection right now where I think a lot of people feel where, wow, when you find out what people share on social media or on Twitter, yeah. you know, when you look at these things and then it also does just seem like it's so overwhelming and so uh, it, it just makes everyone feel helpless. What, what I think is kind of like a metaphor is that it's evil joy that's causing these ripples, right? That's what they're saying. Like, that's why we need to stop this. Because have you noticed the change in the multiverse? That's joy creating it. So we need to fight fire with fire, right? They, we need to just fight back harder. But really, in the end, it was them using kindness and understanding and empathy and all these kinds of things to fight back that threat, which you could look at as that's probably the way we're going to try and evolve or fix all the stuff he talked about, like not yeah. being able to trust your neighbor, the crumbling, everything, you know, yeah, trust in things. Yeah, because what he says is that, like, yeah, like what you're saying, 100%, because he says, you know, haven't you noticed this and this yeah. and this, the coffee doesn't taste the same, yeah. and haven't you ever felt I wish things could just go back to the way that yeah. they were and yeah. she says it you know as, she, as he's about to say it, he's like yeah you yeah. know she says it our institutions are crumbling nobody trusts their neighbor anymore and you stay up at night wondering to yourself how can we get back And I really kind of felt that felt that way, you know, because it's true. If you're living in an apartment, yeah. you're kind of like, I don't know if I even want to know my neighbor, mm -hmm. you know, I just because we live next door, yeah. things like that. And sometimes people find it a little bit awkward. Don't you want to know your neighbor mm -hmm. so that if, if something bad happens, yeah. but people feel like, no, I just want my privacy. Yeah. I don't want to be burdened by yeah. knowing the person next door. What if I leave my leave my house and they leave their house at the same time, yeah. and then we're gonna see each other, and then we're gonna get I'm gonna be forced to do you know into small yeah. talk. Um, the dreaded and, stop and chat. So Simpler time. Yes, yeah. A simpler time yeah. would be a better time. Yeah. Sometimes maybe we talk about, oh, we want to volunteer, but then you start thinking about things like, oh, what are the people what are the people gonna be like? You know, all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. there are all of these things that are standing in the way yeah. of you, of us, yeah. going out there in yeah. the in the big bad world. And having and, good experiences. And having or bad experiences, but learning from those Exactly. Experiences. And Either that's way, the thing, right? Either way it's an ex life. exactly. Yeah. You're still engaging with life. Yeah. Negative or positive, it's yeah. still something that you can just kind of like yeah. a nice little, little 
collection of experiences mm-hmm. and moments that make you into a better person, which is the hope, isn't it? Yeah. Like if you are looking at the world the way Wayman wants you to, mm-hmm. every single experience is that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Man, there's so much, um, so much. truly so much. Yeah. And um, But honestly, yeah, that was, there, there's so much. I mean... Yeah, I um, hope we made sense. Yeah, I mean... Because we were also like... Well, it's, I mean, this movie is kind of a tough one, too, because it's it's linear in a very non-linear way, but yeah. it's it's a tough movie to uh, just finish and then try and talk about. That's just some of, of a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it was a really, like, it was a long movie. I was just like, I more, more. Tired. I don't want it to yeah. end, you know? Like, I didn't was, want it to end. I still a, have a lump in my throat that I'm yeah. going to work on yeah, right. uh, after this. Yeah. <laughs> push that lump out. Yeah. <laughs> it was some stuff that we uh, managed to pull off the, the tree of thought yeah. for that movie. <laughs> um, I'm tired now. Yeah. Um, we were thinking of watching another movie. I don't know. I, I don't no know. Way. But uh, yeah. anyway, that, that was some of our thoughts on uh, on everything everywhere. Every, everything Every, everywhere all at once. What would yeah. you guys think? If you've seen it, let us know. Share, Share your, thoughts your thoughts on our thoughts down below there in that area. Yeah. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. That's a wrap.